Hi, this is Swapnil and I'm making this video so that I can explain my blog which I recently posted on medium.com. Uh, the title of the blog is Regression Based Machine Learning Approaches for Diamond Price Prediction. I suggest you should read the blog because it's just a 12 minute read and it will give a very good insights about many machine learning techniques. So let's start. So uh, I am using Google Colab as it is easy to use and it handles mostly all the technicalities. Okay, so here I am importing the necessities. Uh, so this is basically my data set. You can see uh, it, it has columns like color, carrot, uh, cut, uh, clarity, depth table price etc etc so here I basically extracted all the type of values that I had in uh, and uh, this is basically the information about our data set you can see the uh, features like cut color and clarity uh, I have data type object uh, price is an integer and uh, rest the rest uh, quantities are in front so basically we want to predict the price of a diamond so first of all we should start with pre-processing uh, you can see the features like cut color and clarity have non numerical values so we need to convert them into numerical value first so that our model can understand it so basically i have derived some relationships here i have made a co uh, and th and then i made a correlation matrix so basically uh, i plot i plotted those values in a linear order according to the dependency on price per bit. Uh, so here I have made some more correlation matrix and you can see I have dropped many columns such as uh, table, uh, tab and all because they had a very low correlation score and uh, I have, uh, and if uh, if you know uh, about diamonds, uh, the features like color, cut, color, and clarity are very much important. But in our correlation matrix, uh, they were having a very less score. So uh, I uh, so basically. What I did was I added a dependencies dependency of of weight in them. So here I am basically making two types of set set X and set Y. Set Y is what we need to predict. Here I am importing the necessities. And this is our linear regression model. We achieved a very good R square score of 0 0.86. Uh, here is our polynomial reg uh, regression result. We achieved a very good score of 0.498. Then we have tried many other uh, models too, like polynomial features with degree 3, decision tree regressor, SVR, random forest classification, even a neural network which I would basically train for 100 epochs uh, then we also tried region lasso then yeah then I ended with logistic regression so in my blog uh, I have explained a lot about them and I have also given some links so that you uh, like it's easier to refer uh, so going to the results yeah these are the results 
you can see that we achieved very good results using neural network polynomial regression and decision tree regression. Decision tree regression was the best recipe for our problem. Thanks.